Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by, and of course, say it with me, you got here just in time. That's right, just in time for another campground experiential video. As you saw up there, we're at Copper Break State Park again. It's like three years ago we were we stopped in here on our way to Colorado. We're on our way to Amarillo. Yep, he's got some business in Amarillo. I couldn't drive by without coming here again. I really like this state park. Let's take a look at our campsite and then we'll go do the bathroom check, the shower check. We're in site number 10, 50 amp and water. And as you can see, the, the pads are recycled asphalt. It's fine, they're super level. And thanks to that new bill we all just passed, maybe there'll be concrete next time I come back here. There are a lot of harvester ants. They're not gonna go into your RV. They like plants. Looks like there's some gopher activity. Check out the picnic table cover. It's in the form of a five-legged, four-legged, I can't count, four-legged teepee. Wooden picnic table, concrete pad, the ubiquitous lantern hook. <laughs> we can, we're going to be camping in style. We have a waist-high charcoal grill, a steak cooker, and we have a place to squat down and cook or just have a fire. Only when there's a red flag warning so we can't burn any wood. There are no pull-throughs or full connections here at Copper Breaks. Let's go over here and check out the facilities. Water fountain right outside. Two showers. Not too shabby. That way, I, that way you don't have to worry about dumping your tanks. So that one's a better ship, better spray. All right. It's, it's not very handicap accessible though. All right. And if you're traveling with youngins and they've been in the car all day and they're driving you crazy and you don't want to take them all the way down to the lake, you'll be happy to know. They will be happy to know. There's a playground. With monkey bars. Is that a politically incorrect thing to say now? Are they not called monkey bars anymore? I don't know. Place to hang and act like a monkey. And one of those <laughs> burn your butt metal slides. It's not hot today, so you can slide right on down. Just know there's harvester ants at the end. And, and harvester ants do have a very painful defense. They have big pinchers and they do have a stinger, kind of like a fire ant. They're not a, they're not as much of a, what am I trying to say? They're not nearly as defensive as fire ants. I mean, you gotta literally be stomping on their nest in order for them to get really, to get after you. All right, so let me gear up pull out a I think I'm gonna do the scooter I got I got sable sorted out for the moment so I'm gonna put on put on the rig pull out the scooter and we'll go see some more copper breaks state park stuff copper breaks state park has a very extensive trail network so we're here and you've got all of these trails so, and there's also, this is a dark sky park. 
and we're gonna see the observatory area after uh, we got one more thing at the end of this road and then we'll go see that let's go see some copper breaks state park stuff we got a we got a cold front coming and we're in the panhandle so the wind is blowing like crazy and anyway we're at we're at the end of the road this particular road we have an a great view of the copper break state park the copper break state park lake it looks pretty dying low let's let's go see an observatory i know i said we were headed to the observatory but we, we came to the equestrian camping area first now unlike some of those that we've recently seen on the Dude RV Traveling Roadshow, this equestrian camping loop is pretty much all primitive. You do have some restrooms. You have a few paddocks. Hitching posts. But best of all, you have trails. And it's very, it would be very much like riding the Chisholm Trail. This was not too far off the Chisholm Trail. Uh, and a lot of the, the stuff out here in this part of Texas are named after Charles Goodnight and his crew. All right. Let's, let's go see some more stuff. So no showers. This is the equestrian loop facilities. So there's no showers. We gotta hurry. <laughs> we didn't get here till 3.30. In the group camping area, site number 49. I, uh, I think I sh we visited this the last time I was here. If you don't need power and you don't need water, but you want a great view, a great sunrise view. There's a building right up there. That's the park headquarters. We're headed that way. All right, now we're gonna go see the observatory. So we're at the equestrian trailhead parking area. Right, right, right there is a bridge. This is the observatory. Mr. Ragsdale, you will appreciate this. So three pads, benches, and lots of sky. All right, now we're gonna go, let's go to the lake. My boat ramp fans, I hate to do this to you, but <laughs> we're back out in West Texas, so we have a boat ramp, but there's no water. And the ground is pretty cracked. Doesn't look like they've had any rain in a while. All right. They do have a fish cleaning station and a restroom in the, day, the boat ramp area. Some day use picnic tables. Let's go see some more stuff. So if you're traveling in a van or a truck camper, or you're traveling with a tent and you don't really need power and water, this is the Kiowa camping loop. Fairly level parking site, places to pitch your tent. There's some community water. Now, when I was here last, I actually encountered a very large flock of turkeys right here. All right, let's go see some more stuff. So if you're looking for a place for a group gathering, this is the day use group area. We have a screened pavilion 
with a long row of tables, big cooker over there, lots of tables scattered around, plenty of places to build a fire and cook stuff. So bring your Boy Scout troop or your family reunion. All right, let's, let's go see what else we can find. Camping area, once again, this is a primitive but they are set up for a group campsite, group, group camping area, a group loop. Pig waller. Pigs, big problem. Pig, pig problems are a big problem. If you're coming out to Copper Break State Park anytime soon, don't, don't expect to go swimming. This is the swim area. swim at your own risk <laughs> do you like to fish do you like to fish do you like to fish from fish docks well got some bad news it's still closed I think this was closed last time I was here no I don't I don't rightly remember but I, I, th I think it was was closed I guess you can walk down beside it like everybody else has done and Go do some bank fishing. All right. Now we got to go to the top of the hill. The other hill. So the front office also has a museum. Or rather, it had a museum. Right now, the museum is empty. Apparently, it's being re-museumed, renovated or something. So I'll have to come back and see it. But if you want to see what it looked like, on my previous visit, just put copper brakes in the search bar there on the channel. Click on the Dude RV channel and then there's a search bar for the channel. It's kind of like right, uh, no way it'll be up, up here. <laughs> anyway, copper brakes, state park, Dude RV. And you can see the previous, ah, heck, I'll put a link in the card up there. All right. I gotta go do a scooter video before the sun sets. Copper Break State Park is one of the Texas state parks where you can see part of the Texas Longhorn Herd. They are a genetically pure strain of Texas Longhorn, the courtesy of the Charles Goodnight family. But they can be found the ones here at Copper Breaks are in this pasture. So that's the, the, the state highway up there. So as you come in, it'll be on your left. I didn't see any of the last time I was here. They're all hidden back there in the mesquite. I think that they feed, the, they put feed out on Saturdays. I don't know, call the park and ask. All right, time for a scooter run. Break State Park. You wouldn't know it, but the sun's been up for an hour. <laughs> it's very, very overcast this morning. And the north wind is blowing. Yeah. Unpleasant weather no matter where you're set up. The uh the teepee patio covers or the teepee picnic table covers need to be rotated 90 degrees to block that wind. I 
I like this campground. I like this Texas State Park. I like Copper Break State Park. This is a nice place. Bathrooms could use some renovation. Campsite, uh, the, the pads, campsite pads could use a little overhaul. That may all be coming. We're done here. So this is both, Copper Break State Park is both a great waypoint stop if you're moving towards Amarillo or coming from Amarillo. It's a nice place. It's super quiet here. You know, we, we did have the, the, the strange campground person that I thought was going to sleep in their car at the bathroom last night but apparently they, they were just trying to get cell signal or something i don't know it was it was odd but both times we've camped here it's been very very pleasant uh, we had clear skies you can see the milky way super bright last night before the clouds moved in This is a good place to stop. Spend some time. We're done here. We gotta we gotta book it on up to Amarillo. She got meet she has meetings. So we are done. I encourage you to come pay a visit to Copper Break State Park. I like it. If this is your first visit to Dude RV, I'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on that subscribe button. For those of you who have been following along, thank you so much. That's why, that's why we're here and not at a Walmart parking lot. And for my patrons, we are, we are most grateful for your generosity. You guys rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?